welcome back to Kara Kelly from American Red Cross as we're talking about Heroes of the Heartland. Nominations are out and about and a lot of things going on. People getting excited, aren't they? This is our favorite. It is our fundraiser for the year in mm -hmm. Central Iowa and uh, really it's our it's our favorite event. It's a great opportunity to honor all the great work that's happening in Central Iowa. And, and how do we go about with the nominations? How does that happen? So the easiest way to nominate is to go to our website, which is redcross.org slash IA. There's a nomination link and form right online. Um, you can also mail them into the office, which the address is there on your screen. Um, but it's all about submitting your photos, submitting any articles or news clips or letters of recommendation, and really making your case for why you think this person or this organization should be honored so our committee can make a decision. Now, there's events that could still happen we still have what about a month just shy of a month that people can do something or something does occur keep that in mind mm -hmm. because that's still eligible as I was gonna say I was thinking nominations were the expiration was coming up pretty quick and we saw there on that full screen February 12th is the official Done. cutoff mm -hmm. correct? that's the cutoff okay. that's when we have to have all Everything of our stuff there. together <laughs> okay makes sense so yep. you still do have time if you'd like to nominate kind of thinking just a year back if there's someone that really stood out in your life and did something amazing give us some example because I know we all have people in our life that we can consider heroes, but give us examples of stories that you're looking for. And, and you're absolutely right. Everybody has kind of their own definition for what makes a hero. So um, in Red Cross terms, it could be a life-saving um, example. So last year we had um, a couple incidents of CPR. We had um, a man who performed CPR on somebody at Hilton Coliseum during a Cyclones game. Okay. Um, we had some choking saves, which again, those really speak to the Red Cross because those are the classes that we right. teach. Right. Um, it could be somebody who's made a really big impact on the community. So last year we had some folks who um, had some personal tragedies and then turned that into something to benefit the community. The Sparkle Run, I'm not sure if you're familiar right. with the movies yes. we, yes, we yes. recognized last year. So um, it really varies. Um, it's really all about making your case, explaining to us why you think this person is special, why this person should be honored. And then there's the breakfast at Prairie Meadows and it's an emotional morning, but you leave and you feel inspired for the rest of the day and you want to go out and do good things. Besides one being one of the biggest events for the American Red Cross. What, what's special about it for you? Why, why do you love this event so much? Well, I love telling the stories. I mean, the yeah. stories are really impactful and you feel incredibly inspired by all these people. Um, but this year is particularly, particularly special because it is our centennial year in Iowa. So we'll have um, a little bit of history at this year's uh, breakfast and talk about all the people who made an impact since 1916 and making the Red Cross as strong as it is in Iowa. So it should be a really special event this year. Now, when is the breakfast going to be occurring? The breakfast is April 8th. It's a Friday morning. It's at Prairie. Meadows. It starts at about seven o'clock. Um, really great, delicious breakfast that I generally don't get to eat, but I feel like it's, <laughs> you're so busy. You don't even get to but enjoy. I hear it's great, um, <laughs> and uh, it's it's really lovely. We have some video clips that we show and. Uh, I, it should be a really special event. Now, the event itself, can you attend the event even if you're not a nominee? You can attend the event. Um, it is, uh, uh, we usually go with table sponsorships, but it's not ticketed. So if you feel inspired, you really want to come and also learn a little bit about what the Red Cross is all about, right. mm -hmm. come on over. Um, it is our largest fundraiser of the year, so don't be surprised if you're asked for money at some point. No, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like this morning, these, these Oscar nominations are coming out, and these are rich people who get paid to play pretend for a living and, and I, I hate all these award shows but these are people that deserve to be recognized and who wouldn't otherwise be recognized if it wasn't for you guys. This is a big deal. And most of them really are kind of embarrassed by their recognition, honestly. And and when you talk to them, they really, they don't think of themselves as heroes. In most cases, they say, well, I was just doing what I think anybody would do. And that's not always the case so it's really special to be able to say you know you really did great you did something extraordinary and here's an honor for that is there any other way you're celebrating a, a big year for the american red cross it's really going to be a year-long celebration um the heroes of the heartland will kind of be our signature gala mm -hmm. if you will um but we'll have march as red cross month um so look for some things then we'll be doing chapter birthday parties in june um, of course we'll be at the state fair as we are every year to do first aid but also have some special things planned. You might get your picture taken with Clara Barton. Not the actual Clara Barton, we're not <laughs> bringing her back, but maybe a cutout or something. Um, and then we're hoping to turn the state red in November. So we're hoping to get everybody on board to show your support for the Red Cross in November by doing something special to turn the state red. All right, Parker, we have to get red jackets. 
I'll do that. Yes. Red shirts. Give us, give us some pro tips. How do you get your your organization or your favorite person? How do you how do you push them forward in that nomination process? I mean, submit as much as you can. Okay. So you know, you'll write your little paragraph as to why you think, but photos, letters of recommendation from other people, um, you know, any news clippings if it was covered. But Are you accepting video of information of any time, video uh, feeds? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. We can take video feeds. Um, if you need to mail it in, just say, hey, we're going to mail it in or drop it off at the office. Okay. You know, we had one year, and we also have these events in Sioux City and Dubuque and Ottumwa, and one year we had somebody um, who nominated somebody who organizes for the Special Olympics, and we had 150 of her kids submit letters of recommendation wow. and I have to tell you I mean I'm an old news person I'm a little hardened compared to most Red Cross people <laughs> and I was pretty emotional by that one it was amazing uh, how so. many entries will you have do you think? Um, typically, we have between 50 and 75, but the more, the bigger pool we have, um, you know, it makes it a little tougher for the committee, but we really know that we're picking the right people, so, that is and great. it's a tough job. That is awesome. All right, one more time, you have the, the, uh, the window of opportunity still open until uh, the 2nd of February, but after that, you need to get the nomina you get, need to get the nominations in before then, right? Get those nominations in, redcross.org slash IA, just look for the link right on the homepage. That's the easiest way. If you have any questions, give the office a call. Yeah. Love it. 211. Love everything Final about day. it. Wonderful. Thank you Thanks. so much Thanks for coming you. in. Great Thanks to for see having you. me. It's good to see you guys too. Good to see you.